Hey everyone, I'm Natasha and I'm super excited to have you here with me today as I show you how to transform boring white mugs into super awesome, fun, dishwasher safe galaxy mugs using just a few inexpensive materials. All right, so let's get started with a look at the materials you'll need to make your Galaxy mug. Now first, of course, you need a mug to decorate. Um, this is actually sort of off-white, but a white mug works great, a clear glass, whatever you'd like. You'll also need your paints. Make sure that they are dishwasher safe paints for use on glass or ceramics. These are the folk art enamels. Um, and I got a purple and a blue. I think those are beautiful galaxy colors, but go with whatever you'd like. Now, if you look at the directions, it says you also need rubbing alcohol. Uh, it is really important to wipe down your mug or glass with rubbing alcohol so that the surface is nice and clean and the paint can stick. Now this paint is really cool, but it is not food safe, which means you shouldn't paint all the way to the lip of your mug. So you're going to need painter's tape so that you can tape off at least a lip on the top. I'm actually going to go a little bit further down because I like the way that looks. But just your regular old painter's tape can be really any width you'd like. You're also going to need some foam brushes or foam pounces like these to apply your paint. I'm using a big one for the purple and a smaller one for this sort of teal color, um, but you can use the same size, one brush, whatever you'd like. You can also use regular foam craft brushes. Also, I really prefer to put my paint out on a palette. This is a plastic lid, like from a lunch container. It can really be anything. The top to an ice cream or yogurt container works well, even a disposable plate. Then to add the star accents, you will need an oil-based fine or super fine tip. This is the extra fine tip, oil-based paint pen. Um, I'm using the Sharpie oil-based paint pen. They're really easy to find. There are other brands, so just go with whatever you have, but make sure it's the oil-based or it's gonna just come right off and that is no good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, you are going to want to clean off your mug, as I said, with rubbing alcohol. So just grab some paper towel. I think I may have forgotten to mention that. You, of course, need paper towel to apply your rubbing alcohol. Um, just get some rubbing alcohol. I'm using 70%, 91% is even better, but it can be harder to find. Just rub down your mug. It's really important, especially if you're using an old mug like this one is. I actually inherited some mugs from my grandmother. So this was just a plain mug that she had sitting around, not one that I went out and bought just for this project. So it's very important if it's been in use to make sure to get all the oils and food residues and anything that might be on there off. Now the alcohol dries pretty quickly, but just make sure it's dry before you begin applying your tape. So when you're putting your tape, don't just look at the top and say, oh, well, that's how much white space I want. Look at the bottom, because that's going to be your guide. So I know that I like it to come right about just there for the bottom. So below this tape is where my paint is going to be. And I actually like to just rip it in strips. It makes it a lot easier to apply and come in and try to apply as evenly as you can. So keep an eye on that white space on top. Press it down firmly, especially on the bottom so you don't get paint leaking through. Oh, and see it's a little crooked over there so don't be afraid to come back and fix it. Get another piece. When you do this, don't just stick it right there. Make sure to overlap a bit so that you don't get any seeping through paint, any gaps in coverage. All right, there we go. Pressing it down, especially along the bottom. Now I also know because I've already painted a mug, I always do my projects ahead of time to make sure I work out the kinks that I also like to cover up the handle here. So that I, because I personally don't want paint on the outside of my handle. You might. 
that's up to you. But I decided that I didn't want paint there because I thought it would be a really um, easy place for the paint to begin to wear away because that's what you grab all the time. So I decided not to paint the outside just to help protect my design. All right, so there, the mug's all nice and taped up. Now it's time to get your paints. Now, um, quick secret, I basically never take the plastic off of here and then have it so the pop top can come off and make a mess. I just unscrew it. It saves time and it saves mess. So go ahead and put some paint out. And I'm gonna put the blue out too. This stuff is pretty thick and it smells a little bit more than regular craft paint, but it's not too bad. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I have discovered with this paint that pouncing it on, you end up with some texture that I think looks like a cool nebula. I'm gonna show you. If you brush it on, I'll show you that right quick too. If you brush it on, it's gonna take a whole lot of coats to make that look good. And you have to wait an hour between each coat. So that takes a long time and that gets really boring, right? We want this cool galaxy mug right away. So instead of doing that, just pounce your paint on like this. And if the texture bothers you, you might wanna brush it. But like I said, I think it has a really cool nebula look that I really like. So I'm just gonna keep pouncing paint. I'm going to speed up the video to save you some time. And I'll meet you back here in just a moment. All right, so now I have purple all over my mug. So I'm gonna grab my other foam pounds. You could um, wash off your brush, wash off your pounds, use the other end of it, um, but I'm just gonna grab another one. And I'm going to apply blue down the middle. Well, roughly down the middle. To add some interest and really add to that galaxy appearance. Now you see that I keep dabbing this off. I'm trying to keep this blue kind of pure. So I'm just dabbing off some of that purple. Even so, it looks like I'm gonna need some more blue paint. That's fine. Getting it underneath the handle is always the hardest part. Don't stress it too much. Okay, so now I have some blue paint on there and I'm gonna go back and add even more purple to the outside just to darken it up, right? Because it looks good when you have darks and lights. When everything is all just kind of like the same sort of mid-tone, it's not nearly as interesting. And that way too, if I think I've gotten too much blue anywhere, I can come back and cover it up a little bit. Just really add to that fun galaxy nebula type appearance. Getting some on the bottom. And I want to add a little more blue back in. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with this right now. If you do have paint on the bottom, make sure to set your mug upside down or else it's going to dry stuck to your work surface and that's no good. Ask me how I know that. Um, something else, if it's dusty or if you have pets, I really recommend just grabbing something. This is a paint bucket. You can use a bin, something like that. Cover up your project because you don't want a bunch of pet fur getting stuck in the wet paint, right? That is super frustrating. So just cover it up, set it aside, and I like to let it dry at least overnight before coming back in with the paint pen to add the details. All right, so I'm actually not going to wait overnight because I have a mug that I painted last night while practicing the technique. So if this one looks a little bit different, it is. Um, I also discovered while removing the tape a very important tip to share with you guys. See how the line is nice and clean on this side? 
and not as nice and clean on this side. That's because I forgot to cut the tape over here when I was taking it off. So when you paint over the tape, you're gonna get some paint on the tape. And when you go to peel it, you may peel up little bits of your paint, leaving you with an uneven appearance. So to fix that, what you can do is grab yourself um, a knife, this one's um, kind of dirty, or a box cutter, and very carefully score right along the edge of the tape so that you cut through the paint and then peel up your tape. And that way you'll get this nice clean line. See, that's why I always do these things ahead of time so that I can share little tips and tricks I've learned along the way. All right, so grab your paint pen and shake it. And if it says to make sure there's any ink flowing, you can make sure there's ink flowing by pressing down a few times. And what we're going to do now is draw um, sort of a constellation pattern, not a real constellation though. We're gonna draw stars and dotted lines to connect the stars, kind of like a star map, I guess. And you can practice this on a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard if you wanna be able to see the white before you get going. Or of course you can decorate it however you'd like, but this is how I'm decorating my mug. So just come in and draw a star. Not very much trickier while trying to film and not block. I'm sure that yours will look much better than mine as a result. Then come in, you can draw dots, lines, whatever you'd like. And another star. whatever paint you used because this paint is not fully cured yet. So on this paint, and this is pretty standard, some actually take longer, it says to let it air dry for 21 days before you put it in the dishwasher. It's a similar amount of time for the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, I know. But you can speed it up by putting it in a cool oven and then heating it to 350, baking for 30 minutes, letting it cool, and then removing. So the reason it has all that about putting this in a cold oven and letting it come to temperature is that most glasses and ceramics can take that heat, just not the sudden changes in heat. So it is important to put this in the cold oven, let it come fully to temperature, and then bake at the temperature and time as recommended by your paint. And it's so here they are, a pair of awesome completed Constellation Galaxy mugs. I think they are so pretty, so much better than the boring white mugs that I had before. So I really hope that you decide to make your own mugs. If you do, please leave a comment. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them and help you out. Please also leave a thumbs up, right? We all love to see likes. Um, it would also be awesome if you could subscribe because I love to do craft tutorials. And over on my blog, The Artisan Life at natashalh.com, there's a link down below, I do weekly craft tutorials there. And I'm doing a lot of painting tutorials right now. There are several other galaxy and night sky themed projects that can go along with your really cool new mugs. So I hope to see you there. I hope to see you back on YouTube soon. And thanks so much for watching.